Hello, Nathan here from the photography team, back with another quick video on uh, editing a wedding picture. Here we have a, an image that was taken at a recent wedding uh, in a woodland setting. A Canon EOS 5D Mark III was used, uh, 70 to 200 uh, f 2.8L IS2 lens. It was at 135 millimeters, one two hundredths of a second at f4, and ISO of 320. What I'm going to go for today is the is the muted look that uh, seems to be a common editing style at the moment. So first of all, we start with this picture. This is raw image. First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of exposure because it's dark. Now with exposure we can use the exposure slider here or if you weren't aware using the histogram if you just highlight in the middle you can drag the exposure up from there which sometimes is a little bit easier. Don't need too much. Okay, going down the list of options, let's bring the shadows up just a little bit. I'm going to bring the whites up as well just to show a little bit more detail in her dress. Now I'm going to leave the highlights because there aren't actually any highlights in this image. But normally you could either take the highlights down or up. But for this image, we'll just leave them at zero. I'm just going to increase my blacks a little bit just to um, bring out some more detail in the shadows. And already, as you can see, the image is a lot brighter. We can see detail in the background. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity but not, not too much for this image. So we'll just go to around 12. A little bit of vibrance. Around about 33. Let's just pop the colours a little bit more. I'll leave the saturation where it is. Noise reduction, shot ISO 320, but we'll add a little bit because we have brought the shadows up, so we don't need much. Maybe 15, 16. I'm going to enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberrations, and constrain crop. <clears throat> Wait for my computer to um, process that information. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of a post crop vignette, but not too much, just to darken the corners slightly and draw your eye into the image. Okay, now looking at the image, I'm going to go to the white balance setting. I just want to warm it up a little bit more. So we're at 5800 at the moment. I'm going to probably go up to 6400. Uh, bring that down a couple of clicks. Again, if you're hovering over the uh, slider, you can use your up and down arrows on your Google keyboard. There we go. Now on the dress here, I can see a fly, I believe it is. So using the spot removal tool, we'll get rid of that black mark. There are a lot of flies in these woods. We we are only in there for a few minutes and then we had to get out quick because we were all getting bitten. 
I'm using a MacBook at the moment with a uh, monitor, that's why my computer's a bit slow. There, gone. Eventually. Now, the muted look. Now the way we achieve that, that is by using the tone curve on linear. Now the bottom left hand point, if you hold that, just drag it up a little bit, you're actually muting the blacks. And if you add a point and drag it down a little bit more, just add a little bit more contrast in there, and there you go. It's the muted look that seems to be very popular at the moment. I will just bring in my vignette a little bit more, just to draw their eye in. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now we have this image completed. We can, if we want to, get black and white. That will give us a nice subtle black and white image. Back to colour. What I'll do is I'll just um, reset the image again. That's where we started. That's where we finished. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. We will be producing some presets uh, at some point for you to download, which will give you um, a preset for this type, type of style of image. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.